is one of the most popular female video game characters of all time. So how is Lara Croft not in this game? She should be in there. Lara Croft was not just a video game icon. She was a pop culture icon that was on magazine covers, but not for video game magazines. <laughs> At first I was like, well, maybe because she has guns, but Joker got guns. Plus because of the reboot of Lara Croft, we get some more of that bow and arrow action up in there. And they can even have a special skin, kind of like how they did Little Mac with the wireframe Little Mac. They can have Lara Croft. One of her skins could be the PS1 Lara Croft, like the blocky one. That would be pretty funny. I know some people were waiting for this, but I finally got around to making it. Lara Croft's create a classic mode. I thought of a couple of different ideas until I realized how cool this one would be. It's called Retro Raiders. In each match, you play as Lara, and you get a computer-controlled ally that is another Lara that is an alternative version of the Lara you choose. With each battle, you face two of the same opponent that have their original outfit and another outfit representing another era from that character's franchise. The first one is Ike. I only picked him because he has a younger and older appearance from his two Fire Emblem games. Thankfully, this is the only Fire Emblem character you would see here. Second is Wario. You got original Wario and WarioWare Wario, representing the two successful series that he has starred in. Third, we have Bayonetta. Like Ike, Bayonetta only appeared in two games thus far, but she's got different outfits for each. The only good use of Bayonetta would be to have her taken down a peg. Fourth we have Cloud, with appearances from his original Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Being another Square Enix character, you'd think they would be saved for last, but these last three were really hard to put in order. Okay, so I had to cheat a little on this one. This is supposed to be a battle against modern Sonic and classic, lighter blue, slightly short Sonic. Sega really touts they have two different Sonics from two different eras, so it would only seem right to treat these two Sonics differently. Sixth, it's classic Link and Broth of the Wild Link. This is the last character battle because I feel both characters cap off truly new eras with groundbreaking new games that changed the landscape of the series permanently. Seven, the race to the finish. And last, the boss battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. While they are two different characters entirely, it only fits the two-on-two -two aesthetic like Donkey Kong's classic mode. Not a lengthy video, but really gets the point across. What other classic modes would you like me to visualize for you? Leave a comment down below.